Here we're going to look at the transformation of graphs. We've been given an original graph. It's called y equals f of x. We're not usually told what the function is, what the function of x is. We're just usually told it's some function of x. In this case, the function is x minus 1 squared. So y is equal to x minus 1 squared. We're going to look at four different transformations. We've got two transformations that change the output of the function. They change the y coordinate. So when the change is outside the bracket, it's happening to the whole function, it changes the y coordinate. And when the change is inside the bracket, it's affecting the input to the function, and that is the x coordinate. So if the change is outside the bracket, that's a change to the y coordinate. If it's inside the bracket, that's changing the input to the function, and that is the x coordinate. We have y equals minus f of x. That multiplies the output of the function, multiplies the y values by minus 1. So this is a transformation that will multiply the y values by negative 1. And on a graph, let's have a look at how that looks. So there's, we had negative 1, 4. That's going to become negative 1, negative 4. 0, 1 would become 0, minus 1. 1, 0 would stay as 1, 0. 2, 1 would become 2, negative 1. 3, 4 would become 3, negative 4. So what this graph looks like is a reflection in the x-axis. So I'm going to write reflection in x axis. So y equals minus f of x, it changes the y coordinates, so we're multiplying all the y values by negative 1, or it's a reflection in the x axis. For y equals f of x plus 2, for y equals f of x plus 2, we're going to add 2 to all the y values. So whatever we get out of the function, we're going to add 2 to it. So where we got out 0 before, we're going to shift that up 2 spaces. Where we had 1, we're going to shift it up 2 spaces. So this whole graph is shifted up 2 spaces. So for f of x plus 2, we're going to add 2 to all the y values, all the y coordinates. If it was f of x minus 2, it would move down 2. We'd take 2 away from all the y coordinates. If it was f of x plus 7, it would move up 7 spaces. We'd add 7 to all the y coordinates. So they are the changes to the y we need to know. The changes to the x for y equals minus, and for y equals f of minus x, we multiply all the inputs by negative 1. So if we put in negative 2, that will be the same as the original 2. If we put in 5, that will be the same as the original negative 5. So this transformation multiplies all the x coordinates, all the x values, by negative 1. So where we had 1, 0, that becomes negative 1, 0. 0, 1 will stay where it is. Where we had 2, 1, that will become negative 2, 1. 3, 4 will become negative 3, 4. Negative 1, 4 will become positive 1, 4. So we're multiplying all the x values by negative 1. And that looks like a reflection in the y-axis. So on a graph, that will look like a reflection in the y-axis. And how about the last one, y equals f of x plus 2. 
So the change is inside the bracket. So we know it's going to change our inputs, our x's. Let's look at what would happen. So we're going to add 2 to our input. So where we put in, if I put 0 into this function, it's going to behave like it is 2. Because you're adding 2 to it. So if I put in 0, I'm going to get the answer out for 2. If I put in negative 1, I'm going to get the answer out for 1. If I put in negative 2, I'm going to get the answer out for 0. If I put in negative 3, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. I'm going to get the answer out for negative 1. So it's shifting two spaces to the left. So f of x plus 2 subtracts 2, takes 2 away from the, y, from the x coordinates. So f of x plus 3 will take 3 away from the x coordinates. If I had f of x minus 2, I would actually add 2 to the x coordinates. So it does the opposite to what it says. If you have f of x minus 7, you add 7 to the x coordinates. If you have f of x plus 1, you take 1 from the x coordinates. OK, let's look at a question. The graph of y equals f of x has a minimum point at 1, negative 2. So x is 1, y is negative 2. Write down the minimum point of, so the first one, y equals minus f of x. So we can see the change is outside of the bracket. It's changing the y. It's outside the bracket. It changes the y. And we're going to multiply the y by negative 1. So we're going to leave the x as it is. And negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. The second one, y equals f of x minus 2. The change is inside the bracket. It changes the input, changes the x. And it does the opposite. So it says x minus 2. We're going to add 2 to the x coordinate. So it's going to become 3, negative 2. We leave the y alone and we change the x. For the third one, y equals f of minus x. So we're changing the x. The change is inside the bracket. And we're going to multiply the x by negative 1. So that becomes negative 1, negative 2. And the last one, f of x minus 3, the change is to the y, and we're going to take 3 away from it. So the graph shifts down 3 spaces, which will go to 1, negative 5. OK, some for you to try, so give these a go. So this time the minimum point is at negative 2, negative 3. And we want to know what happens when we transform it. So y equals minus f of x. The change is to the y. So multiply the y by negative 1. It's a reflection in the x-axis. So that will become negative 2, 3. y equals f of x plus 1. So it's inside the bracket. It changes the x. And... If we plus 1 inside the bracket, that means we're going to take 1 away. It does the opposite. So it will go to negative 3, negative 3. We leave the y alone and change the x. y equals f of minus x. So again, we're changing the x. We're leaving the y alone. And it multiplies the x by negative 1. And f of x plus 3. So we leave the x alone, we're changing the y, and we're adding 3 to it. So negative 3 plus 3 is nothing. Okay, here's an example where we have two transformations going on. So we're going to have one transformation for the x and one for the y. So we've got a graph with a minimum point of negative 2, 5. 
and we want to know what happens when we transform it into the graph minus f of x plus 2. So for the x coordinate, we're going to take 2 away. So inside the bracket changes the x, and we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to take 2 from the x, so that will become negative 4. And we're going to multiply our y by negative 1, so that becomes negative 5. For b, we're going to multiply our x by negative 1. The change inside the bracket is to multiply x by negative 1, so that becomes 2. And the change to the y is a plus 5, so 5 will go up to 10. Okay, one for you to try, so give this a go. So we're starting off with a minimum point of 4, negative 3. The first graph is y equals, or the first transformation, y equals minus f of minus x. So it flips, it reflects in the x-axis and the y-axis. So we multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1 and the y-coordinate by negative 1. y equals f of x minus 5 plus 2. So we're going to add 5 to our x-coordinate. So it does the opposite inside the bracket. So that becomes 9. And we're going to add 2 to our y-coordinate. So negative 3 goes up to negative 1. So it shifts 5 to the right and 2 up. Here we've got a graph drawn for us. So a graph is drawn on the grid, and we are asked to draw the graph of y equals f of x plus 2. So f of x plus 2, the change is inside the bracket, and it, we do the opposite. So it says plus 2, we're going to take 2 away. So we're taking 2 off all of the x coordinates. So it's going to shift 2 to the left. So it's going to look like this. We're shifting every point two spaces to the left. So we've got something like this. And I'm going to try and join them up. So it's something like that. How about the graph of minus f of x? So this is a change to the y coordinates. We're going to multiply all of the y coordinates by negative 1. So it's reflecting in the x-axis. A 4 is going to become a negative 4. A negative 1 is going to become a positive 1. A 4 is going to become a negative 4 points where it crosses are going to stay the same and we'll try and join up these points so it looks something like that okay another graph another graph is drawn we need to draw the graph of f equals x minus 5 and f of x minus 5. So the first one is a change to the x coordinates. It's inside the bracket. It changes the x and it says minus 5. So we're going to plus 5 to all the x coordinates. So where we had negative 4, that's going to become... 1. So it's going to shift 5 spaces to the right. The graph shifts 5 spaces to the right. So it will look like this. And the graph of f of x minus 5. So this time we're going to move 
the whole graph down five spaces. So we were at five, that goes to zero, five goes to zero, and one goes to negative four. So there is our graph. And to finish up, we have two questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. A graph with the equation y equals f of x is transformed to give the graph of equation y equals minus f of x plus 3. The point on the original graph with coordinates 3, negative 5 is mapped onto C. Write down the coordinates of C. So what do we have to do to these coordinates? So we're going to, the x change is inside the bracket and it does the opposite. So it said plus 3, but we're going to take 3 away. So 3 take away 3 is 0. And the y change is to multiply by negative 1. So we had negative 5, negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. So the coordinates are 0, 5. For the second one, the change to the x is to multiply it by negative 1. So negative 2 becomes positive 2. And the change to the y is to take 5 away. So 7 take away 5 is 2.